I tell you, it's a, I know it's tough for the employers as well as the employees out there, and it's a tough call on each one of those things. I think probably one of your biggest challenges is implementing the new rate structure that comes into place January. Uh, how far are you along on that, and what can we do as the business community or, or just generally to help you get the information out? What do we need to do? Well, we're, we're putting together a publicity plan as we speak. Um, one thing I can tell you is since we're still calculating the rates, I, I can't give you exact rates yet, but I can tell you the federal uh, FUDA tax right. is going to go up 0.3 tenths of a percent for all businesses in South Carolina. That's right. because we have a loan outstanding two years going. So that will go from 0.8 to 1.1. Uh, we've tried to start publicizing that. Uh, right. You can certainly help us with that. And then the second phase will be the South Carolina tax rate, which we know is going to go up because we're trying to pay back a billion dollars of debt, plus we're currently paying out about $500 million a year while we're collecting about $250 million a year. So we know which way it's going to go. We, we just don't know how much yet. So we're looking at the wage base. The other thing uh, employers need to know is that uh, the wage base is going up from $7,000 to $10,000. Right. So the wage base is going up, the tax structure is changing. We hope to, by mid-November, mid-October, no, mid um, have a new rate uh, that we can help publicize, and we'd sure appreciate you uh, and the Chamber helping us get out to the small businesses, the large businesses, and uh, let people know what's coming. Well, I, th I thank you for a lot of a lot of businesses that have used the system and have got a history of using the system. And it's going to be an eye-opening experience for them. Yet, for some of the businesses that haven't used the system or availed themselves to the system, a lot won't, will probably won't change a whole lot significantly, other than the food side of it, where they get rate increases. But uh, hopefully, it'll encourage folks to make some business decisions about how they use the system, when they use the system, particularly during uh, maintenance of. Of, of equipment and things right. of that sort. So, um, when you look at the rates, I know there's a, there's 20 different steps and all. Is there any indication right now, based on preliminary uh, studies, of what the highest rate's going to be yet? Do we know what that's going to be for the, that f top 5 percent? No, I don't, um, and I wouldn't want to speculate. Right. I, I know that it's going to be uh, a significant increase. Right. Uh, I mean, if you just do the math, if you if you pay back a billion dollars. And you make up a 250 million shortfall every year for five years. Um, that doesn't come cheaply. So, uh, well, so but I think the big thing is the legislation has put in a fair structure, right? It, because the people that use the system and have negative balances in their accounts, they are going to be the ones paying more. As you said, the ones, the small business that aren't using it, they're going to have the least amount. And, right. and so it's it's structured that way purposely to be uh, fair in application to those that use it. Well, let, let's go back just a little bit and talk about uh, it, the jobs that are available. Are you finding that the businesses are starting to post more jobs with with uh, with do, or is it the level of of posting still relatively the same as before the organization? No, we're, we're finding out we're getting more jobs posted. Uh, we've gone to an integrated database now called VOS, okay. where businesses can actually sort by skill level to see what kind of people are available to fill those jobs. Likewise, uh, the applicant can uh, sort by skill level to see what kind of jobs are out there. So we're hoping this new uh, automated system will help us much much more with matching the right people with the right jobs. Uh, I, think, I think one of the problems we're seeing is you've just got a structural problem here in, in this state where so many manufacturing jobs were lost uh, and the people have the wrong skill levels for the new service type jobs uh, coming online. So, Well, it, it's always been a challenge and I, you know, I keep telling folks that I think the jobs that we lost will probably never come back. And it puts a stress on y'all as well as our technical college system to be able to develop the type of new skill sets for new jobs that will be there and stackable, stackable certificates will be the future now rather than just everybody having the same job with the same skill set for two or three years. People will go, be constantly going back and, and redeveloping their skills and, and raising their, their skill levels and all. So what else do we need to know, General? Well, um, I'm, I'm a hope, hopefully optimistic that uh, things are starting to turn around. I think what we saw this month is, um, although I think the unemployment rate is going to go up, I think that's a result of people coming back into the market and right. starting to look for jobs again. Uh, in Washington, they see that as a positive sign. Right. And so I see that too. Um, I, I think the economy is slowly starting to turn. I, I think it's not 
going to be uh, an aggressive rebound, but I think it's going to be a slow rebound. And, and as that turns, I think the jobs will pick up and the unemployment will go down. Well, we appreciate all you're doing over there. I know you've got your challenges, but I know you wake up every day not hating to go to work because it's got to be exciting every day to go over and create something new for this state and, and advance this state from that particular standpoint. So It, it is. It's, it's been an exciting job. We, we got a lot of great, hardworking people there, and, and uh, we're there to service the customers, both the claimants and the businesses. So we're, we're excited about where we're going. Well, we thank you for all you're doing. So. Uh, maybe I know you're coming to talk at our uh, summit in November to, to kind of give us an update. Uh, kind of nice to have an update every two or three months just to know what's going on so things are changing so fast. So I know our membership look forward to hearing you at, at our summit uh, in November. So we look forward to seeing you then. I look forward to it and also thanks for having me.